Hello friends, welcome back to another Cookie Run video. Today we're going to dissect how to play Survival Run. For those of you who haven't tried it or wants a little bit of an overview of how it works. So uh, if you go to play right now, the new Chess Choco update has a new game mode called Survival Run. And how it basically works is that it's like Battle Royale, but for Cookie Run, which is really, really cool and a bit different because it doesn't require you to necessarily have all your cookies maxed out. A lot of these missions that you have to do during survival run uh, don't really require anything. So everyone can play on like even grounds, I would say. So it's pretty, really basically the best free to play um, event. So that in recent memory, to be honest. So how do you play? So once you queue up or press the um, play button in survival run, you are basically put into a waiting room with, uh, I think you start with 64 other players and you basically compete in order to be number one. You want to survive the longest and how you survive is that every single round in survival run, you're given a task. You and your entire lobby are given a task to do. So that could be something like destroy a certain number of obstacles or destroy a lot of obstacles or even just as simply as just getting points. Uh, you don't get to choose your combination, uh, your cookie. You don't really get to um, have time to prep for anything. You just queue up and go. And when the game starts, you just have to keep going. So that is the gist of how Survival Run works. As for my tips for how to get good at Survival Run, well, Cookie Run has always been a really simple game, right? There's only all, ever been two main strategies or sorry, two actions in the game. You either jump or you slide or you double jump. And the thing is, in order to get good, you just have to be really good at reacting to what comes next. So especially in this game mode where you are trying to survive against other players who know how to play the game, most of the time you are trying to react to things that are, are coming at you. So the maps, if you haven't been playing for a long time, some of these maps may be new to you, but that doesn't necessarily give you an advantage. It's more like, okay, I am now in round two. I see that I need to collect coins. And so I need to think about, do I have treasures that help me get coins as well as need to look at and think about, you always think about in the back of your head, oh, maybe I should just skip all the jellies if there are any jellies because everything that doesn't give me coins doesn't help me advance to the next round. So I would not prioritize trying to get even power-ups that don't help me get coins because that's not the point of this round. As for working with a specific cookie, so right now, like what I said at the start of the video, you don't really have to have a specific cookie. You don't have to have all the cookies, I mean, in order to play this mode. So I thought this event was super nice for dev sisters to make because it helps a lot of players that don't have a lot of cookies whereas uh, in trophy race and other modes it kind of requires you to have higher level cookies in order to have fun almost whereas this one it kind of plays like the battle royales that are currently in steam right now so for example if and any of you have tried fall guys that's a really fun battle royale that i like to play it's kind of like that you just jump in and you just play. As for the feature or future of Cookie Run, we already know that uh, Dev Sisters is releasing a new game called uh, Cookie Run Kingdoms that kind of has more of a gacha style battle element. On Survival Run, I feel like it could honestly be its own game. Like playing through it, I feel like now there are so many things that Dev Sisters could do to release, to repackage survival run as its own game to be honest and just completely have its own separate either game or its own mode forever in cookie run because a lot of people like battle royales right we know from successful battle royales like fall guys or any other game modes like cod that <clears throat> incorporating it is kind of fun because trophy race let's be honest it's not that fun i do it just because I want to get a high score. And to be honest, even now, the new season, I don't really like queuing up for trophy race just because 
it's kind of gone stale for me. I would rather, I like Champions League just because there's a cooldown and then you just kind of play for your high score and then that's it. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. Um, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Thank you.